Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Cathedral in Fargo, North Dakota. My name is Bishop John Folda and I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Fargo. I'm also a member of the Board of Catholic Rural Life. The Diocese of Fargo is a rural diocese. So like all of you, we know that we must turn to God in prayer and trust in His loving providence as we live out a rural way of life. I'm happy to join you for this novena of St. Isidore for the intentions of our rural communities and families. For you who are praying this novena from home, you can find the prayers on our website, catholicruralife.org slash virtual novena. You can also submit your comments or your personal prayer requests on the novena page of the website of Catholic Rural Life. The theme for this second day of our novena is family life in Christ. Jesus himself grew up in a family, and the family is at the center of God's plan for human life and growth. All through the Gospels, Jesus teaches us using images of family life. And it's through the family that we have a particular experience of God's presence and his love. Family life is challenged today, and this is true in a unique way for our rural families. Rural life is a beautiful setting for families to grow and flourish, and so we offer our prayers today in a special way for rural families. Let us recall that God is always with his children as a loving father, and let us entrust our rural families to his care. And now I would invite you to join me in the prayers for the second day of the Novena to St. Isidore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Please join in the hymn. Lord, who to share creative life, created mankind, man and wife, to be with you, creators of the objects of your endless love. As Jesus loves the church, his bride, let our love be intensified. Let love of one another be our pledge of love eternally. Through Jesus Christ let this be done, who lives and reigns our Lord, your Son, whom with the Spirit we adore, one God with you forevermore. Happy they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Happy, Happy are you, you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Happy shall you be and favored. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Happy are they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. From Psalm 26, we hear, One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. 
He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. Thanks be to God. I will make all your children to be taught of the Lord. And an abundance of peace to your children. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, and humbly pray that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin, Mother of God, and of Saint Joseph, you may establish our families in peace and grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Saint Isidore, pray for us. And now join me in the prayer in honor of Saint Isidore. O God, who taught Adam the simple art of tilling the soil, and who, through Jesus Christ, the true vine, revealed yourself the husbandman of our souls. Deign, we pray, through the merits of blessed Isidore, to instill into our hearts a horror of sin and a love of prayer, so that working the soil in the sweat of our brow, we may enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Christian marriage is a union in Christ between man and woman. It is a vocation of mutual love and fidelity in which each partner helps the other to draw closer to God and the grace received by the husband and wife in the sacrament of matrimony strengthens them toward the achievement of this end. Since the rural family is the very foundation of the vocation of farming, it is providential that God should have raised up a holy family, Saint Isidore and his wife, Saint Maria de la Cabeza, to be the patrons of rural people. He wanted to teach us that the combination of the work of farming with the cares and obligations of family life can be a sure road to sanctity. Saint Isidore and Saint Maria de la Cabeza exemplify the Christian ideal of land, home, family, work, worship in every aspect of their daily lives. Moreover, the Church has traditionally regarded a home on the land as the ideal place in which to develop genuine Christian family life. Pope Pius XII gave expression to this belief in his address to farmers. Your lives are rooted in the family, universally, deeply, and completely. Consequently, they conform very closely to nature. In this fact lies your economic strength and your ability to withstand adversity in critical times. Your being so strongly rooted in the family constitutes the importance of your contribution to the correct development of the private and public order of society." End quote. Farming is a family enterprise which tends to weld the family together Mother and father are usually within calling distance of each other and see each other several times a day. The children can be at their parents' side to watch them and learn to work with them. There are many little tasks which children can perform that contribute to the family welfare and allow them to acquire experience and habits of responsibility. It is not without reason that the rural home has been called the natural dwelling place for the Christian family. And now I would invite you to pray with me for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and his intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, you are the source of all life, all truth, all goodness, and all beauty. You are the Father of us all, and you sustain us in the love that you share with the Son and the Holy Spirit. We ask you to abide with every rural family and form them as intimate communions of life and love. Through the intercession of St. Isidore and St. Maria, we pray that our family bonds of love will grow stronger as we work the land and bring forth the abundant fruits of your bounty. Keep us safe from all harm and illness so that we may live joyful in your presence here on earth and in the eternity of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising. Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, 
हो